Hello. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Elizabeth. My name is Jangir, and I will be your sales advisor and fellow here in Norway. My name is Vijay, and I'll be working as a UD specialist. My name is Renate. I'll be lead near house specialist. My name is Ola, and I'm a new neo house specialist here in Neo Norway. My name is Arya, lead service advisor at NEO. My name is Jon Christian. I'm a lead service technician here in Norway. I'm really excited to work with you. Welcome to NEO Oslo. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Norway. Hello to NEO users, friends all over the world. I'm delighted that you have decided to join us today. Welcome to the presentation about NEO's entrance into the European market, and more specifically, Norway. My name is Marius Heiler. I'm NEO's general manager here in Norway. A relatively small, but impressive and innovative country in Northwest Europe. Today is a proud day for my colleagues, myself, and the rest of the NEO family. Because NEO is coming to Norway. Today we are going to learn more about NEO, the story of the company and the innovation it's bringing, including our new offices here in Norway. You can also join the conversation and get in touch with us through our social media channels. Personally, I first became aware of NEO in May 2017, when I heard about the NEO EP9, a fully electric race car that sets an unbelievable lap record at the Nürburgring Nordschleife with only 6 minutes and 45.9 seconds. It's really made me ask who is behind such a spectacular electric vehicle? I then started to pay more attention to Neo and was very interested with the level of innovation I saw from the brand. For example, Neo Pilot, the autonomous system, and Nomi, the world's first in-vehicle artificial intelligence system. I saw all this and was thinking, wow, this is really something special. Who had all these ideas? Where does all this come from? Thankfully, the person who can explain all this much better than I can is with us here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce NEO's founder and chairman and CEO, William Lee. Over to you, William. 感谢 Maris, 感谢所有在线上观看直播的朋友们。大家好，我是李斌。我现在在 Neo 
，源自于一个晴朗天空的愿景。十年前，我就在思考，如何通过创新的产品和服务，降低汽车对空气的污染，减少汽车产业对气候变化的影响。一四年二月，在我即将成为一个父亲的时候，我给自己写了封信，告诉自己要立刻行动。一四年底，我创办了未来。New 的意思是 a new day。我们从一开始的目标就是建立一家具有全球竞争力的公司。一四年的十一月 ，New 诞生在上海；一五年六月，在慕尼黑成立了全球设计中心；一五年七月，硅谷的研发中心成立；一五年的八月，英国的前瞻工程团队建立。今年，我们又迎来了一个新的里程碑。三月五日。挪威公司正式成立。现在，我们已经在全球范围内有九千多位同事，来自四十多个国家和地区。从第一天开始，我们就给自己设定了非常高的目标。一五年六月，未来车队的车手尼尔森成为了 Formula E 历史上首个年度车手总冠军。一六年十一月。尼尔的品牌在伦敦。在线上观看直播的朋友们，大家好，我是李斌。我现在在尼尔上海的设计中心，非常高兴能够跟大家分享未来的一些故事。未来，源自于一个晴朗天空的愿景。十年前，我就在思考，如何通过创新的产品和服务，降低汽车对空气的污染，减少汽车产业对气候变化的影响。一四年二月。在我即将成为一个父亲的时候，我给自己写了封信，告诉自己要立刻行动。一四年底，我创办了未来。New 的意思是 a new day。我们从一开始的目标就是建立一家具有全球竞争力的公司。一四年的十一月 ，New 诞生在上海；一五年六月，在慕尼黑成立了全球设计中心；一五年七月，硅谷的研发中心成立。一五年的八月，英国的前瞻工程团队建立。今年，我们又迎来了一个新的里程碑。三月五日，挪威公司正式成立。现在，我们已经在全球范围内有九千多位同事，来自四十多个国家和地区。从第一天开始，我们就给自己设定了非常高的目标。一五年六月，未来车队的车手尼尔森。成为了 Formula E 历史上首个年度车手总冠军。一六年十一月，尼尔的品牌在伦敦 s a r c h Gallery 发布。尼尔的 logo 第一次和大家见面。上半部分是蔚蓝的天空，下半部分是伸向远方的道路。有愿景，有行动，胸怀高远，脚踏实地。一七年三月，我们在美国的 South by Southwest 发布了概念车 Eve， 这就是 Eve。它代表着我们对未来汽车的想象。一七年五月，未来的电动超跑 EP9 前往纽北赛道，挑战电动汽车的性能。试车手 Peter 驾驶着 EP9， 以六分四十五秒九的成绩刷新了纽北的穿速纪录。一七年十二月，在首届 New Day 上，我们发布了 ES8， 一款高性能的智能纯电 SUV， 这就是。ES8， 这是我们最新的款式。一八年九月，我们在纽交所上市，是有史以来从成立到上市最快的汽车公司。上市仪式上，十二位用户代表参与了敲钟仪式。也正好说一下，挪威的主权投资基金 n o r k i s Bank 在未来上市时给了我们很重要的支持。在二零一八年的十二月 ，ES6 正式发布，这就是 ES6。一九年的十二月 ，EC6 正式发布。我身后的这两台车 ，ES6 和 EC6， 它们的车身颜色就是我们刚刚发布的二零二一年未来年度色——极光绿。这个颜色的灵感就来自于挪威的北极之门。窗舍的夜空，我也很想早一点去见识挪威极光的神秘的颜色。
，在今年一月九号的 New Day 上，我们发布了首款自动驾驶车型，也是我们未来第二代平台的首款车型——智能电动旗舰轿车 ET7。这就是 ET7。ET7 搭载了未来最新的自动驾驶技术 NAD， 基于 Neo a c u l a 超感系统，以及 a d e n 超算平台，算力高达 1,016 TOPS， 有是三十个传感器，包括激光雷达，是一款真正面向未来的车型。未来一直追求卓越的产品品质。在竞争非常激烈的中国市场，我们的产品品质得到了用户和产业的充分认可。最新 JD p o w e 发布的报告，未来获得纯电动品牌质量的第一名。未来是一家快速成长的公司，在二零二零年全球高端品牌纯电销量排行中，我们的销量已经排名全球第三。今年一季度，我们的交付量突破了两万台，截止到四月底。我们已经累计交付了十万两千八百零三台未来，创新不仅体现在产品上，也体现在用车服务上。我们构建了一个创新的充换电网络，特别是三分钟的换电的技术，非常受用户的欢迎。在中国，我们已经为用户累计提供超过两百四十万次的换电服务，这个数字每天增加一万多。二零二零年。Neo 因为推出 Battery as a Service 创新的技术与服务，被 Fortune 杂志评为改变世界的公司。依托于移动互联网和云计算的创新，未来的车主不仅可以用 App 进行车辆控制，还可以预约完成售后服务，在给用户节约时间的同时，提供了更好的服务体验。Neo 致力于打造一个以车为起点，分享欢乐。共同成长的社区，在线上 ，Neo App 每个月有三十多万活跃的用户，不仅是 Neo 的车主，还有更多热爱环保、关注科技、追求创新的朋友。在线下 ，Neo House 为车主提供了聚会的场所。我们现在已经在中国开设了二十三家 Neo House， 奥斯陆的首家 Neo House 已经在建设之中。在不远的将来就会跟大家见面。Neo Life 是未来的生活方式品牌。我们与全球的顶级设计师合作，在过去的三年中，发布了一千八百七十六款作品。我们也很高兴与来自于挪威的两位艺术家合作 ，Sandra Blikas 和 Anette Moi， 让我们一起期待他们的作品。在未来社区，还有一个知识分享和交流的平台。Seeds， 过去的五年，我们举办了几百场 Seeds， 既有世界各地的专家进行知识的分享，还有更多的普通的用户分享日常的思考和灵感。二零一八年四月，来自挪威的诺贝尔奖得主 Edward Mosey 在 Seeds 分享过脑科学的最新的发展的趋势。技术领先的高品质智能电动汽车，轻松愉悦的全程体验，分享欢乐，共同成长的社区，这就是未来。谢谢大家。Thanks,、uh, William, for sharing. Before we dive into the details of our local branch. Let's hear from William about what made Neo choose Norway as its first European market. Can you please tell us about the thinking behind this decision? Okay, Maris. Neo from 成立一开始就致力于成为一个全球品牌，为全世界的用户提供好的产品和服务。选择挪威作为中国以外的第一个市场，是一个很长期的思考，不仅仅因为。挪威是对电动汽车最友好的国家，更因为挪威热爱环保、追求创新的文化与 Neo 的愿景有很多的共同之处。二零一八年，挪威的国王来中国访问时，我参加了有关的活动，感受到了挪威实施可持续发展战略的决心
。从那个时候开始，我们就在进行思考和准备。今天，我们来了挪威。Thanks, William. We're really glad to be NIO's first market overseas. I remember that NIO signed the strategic partnership agreement with the Norwegian EV Association in 2018. Christina Bu, Secretary General of the Norwegian EV Association, who signed the contract agreement with you, also wants to welcome NIO to Norway. Oh, great. Hi, Christina. How are you? Thank you for joining us. I received your greeting video. Let me share with everyone. Hi, William. I'm very happy to see you again. Uh, it's about three years since uh, we last met uh, in Beijing, and I told you about Norway and the high EV sales here and test drive the ES8. First, I want to congratulate you on finally coming to Norway. I'm very happy that you chose uh, Norway as your first overseas market. It's exciting to see the achievements that NEO has made the last years. The EV market is fast growing, and it's really good to see more and more EV brands entering uh, Norway. Congratulations. Thanks, Christina. Tusentag. See you. Thanks, William and Christina. I hope we can meet face to face in Norway soon. Next, I would like to share my story about why I decided to join NEO. Now, after 25 years in the Norwegian and Scandinavian automotive industry, I joined NEO on the 1st of March this year. And why? Because I want to be a part of something completely different. Remember, Norway is the first country in the world where the sales of electric cars has overtaken those powered by petrol, diesel and hybrid engines. So why would I want to launch another EV brand in Norway? Simply because I believe Norway is ready for the next step of the EV revolution. Electric vehicles are mainstream in Norway, but EV owners' user patterns are still quite similar to those who own fossil fuel vehicles. This is what I want to change, and I believe premium technology brands such as NEO has identified the right recipe to do so. Firstly, the basics need to be in place. Norwegian expect vehicles that both represent a sustainable future and look great. NEO is driven by design and made for a sustainable future of our planet. These are values that also I can relate to. And I see them in NEO's electric vehicles, including the EP9, ES8 and the ET7. The second topic is service and owning experience. NIA has earned the best reputation of service, culture in China. For example, when a user needs some maintenance or service, he or she just needs to submit their request on the NIO app and wait at home. NIA will pick up the vehicle, take care of everything and deliver it back to your home. It's about delivering a service experience above people's expectations and most importantly, are the NEO community's activities, which I really find inspirational. In China, thousands of NEO users from the whole country enjoy these activities. They greet William and each other, share knowledge, happiness, and even grow up together. I never thought a car brand could build such a close, friendly relationship between the brand and the users. It is more like a community, a big family. In total, NEO aims to deliver an experience that exceeds the expectations, making electric cars a natural choice for everyone, leading to a more sustainable tomorrow. With that, our vision of a blue sky will come true. Norway is one of the few countries in the world that is ready for this next stage in the EV history. Personally, I want to make history, not copy it. And that is why I joined NEO in Norway. As mentioned, our vision is to bring this new car owning experience into Norway. And the first step is to set up the best possible team here in Norway. Let's meet them together. At the moment, we have recruited 15 talented people in Norway. By the end of this year, our team will grow to around 50 people. I firmly believe that our unique team 
can provide Norwegian users with a positive, innovative and a joyful car owning experience. NIO will build up a nationwide ecosystem of users, technologies and services that aims to redefine how Norwegians relate to mobility solutions. To achieve this, NIO sales and service facilities will be very important. Next, I would therefore like to share some information about our preparation and progress here in Norway. The first and the most important facility is NIO House. Ladies and gentlemen, this is NIO House Oslo. As the first NIO House in Europe, it is located in Karl Johan Garte 33 in Oslo city center, only a short walk from the Royal Castle. It has a floor space of 2,150 square meters. The reason why we choose such a central and premium location is not primarily because it's a place to sell cars. As William just introduced, New House is another living room for our users. Here you can spend time with the family, with friends, drink a coffee or participate in activities you're interested in. Here I'm glad to invite Marius Holacek from Neo Munich and Christian Almark, the partner from our architecture firm SHL, to tell us about the concept of the Neo House in Oslo. Let's welcome both of them. We at Neo believe in the idea of Blue Sky Coming. It represents our promise to work for a brighter, positive future and a more sustainable tomorrow. The new house design is a manifestation of this belief. It's not just a car showroom, it's a bright, human and open space where we bring together our local user community. You can find our cars and lifestyle products there as well, but mostly the space is meant for our owners and those that wish to discover more about us. It's an atmosphere to share joy, grow together and to enjoy new experiences. We strive for beauty and perfection of every detail and we always integrate the local context and culture into this aspiration. We were really excited learning how this brand fundamentally differentiated itself from, from other car brands. So we started sort of to indulge in an exercise, trying to see if we could find what was really essential to Oslo, to the people living in Oslo. And, and we came up with this feeling that it was all about engagement and community. It's about a closeness and a relationship to nature, as well as about a celebration of local tastes and, and flavors. Through this exercise, we came up with a concept that we named Fjord. When we finally got to see the space, we immediately fell in love with it. There's like this atrium where we are placing a grand staircase, like a sculpture or monument that really embeds the idea of building community at the heart of what we're creating. In terms of materials, we've been inspired by the strong local materials that we could gather. It's very limited without being minimalistic. It's quite sophisticated and pure. It's stone, it's wood, it's textile. So the ceiling is going to be like this translucent cloud-like feature. The walls are all going to be cladded in, in wood as a backdrop to everything that happens there. And then we have this large terrazzo floor that connects all the spaces. So like a sky, a cliff wall and a seabed, almost like a fjord. The new house is one cornerstone for changing the car ownership experience, transforming the relationship the brand has with its users. Thanks Marius and Christian. I believe this will be one of the most beautiful new houses globally. We are now working on the construction and decoration and hope to open the new house in September this year. We welcome all our friends and users around the world to visit us. I will be there welcoming you. And of course, beside the new house in Oslo, we will bring new space to Norway. New space is a smaller showroom owned by Neo with focus on product experience and local service. By 2022, we plan to open new spaces in Bergen, Stavanger, Trondheim and Kristiansand. We hope to meet you there too. Back to the EV owning experience. As you know, charging and range is always one of the biggest topics. NEO will also bring NEO power 
meaning our entire portfolio charging infrastructure into Norway in order to provide an EV experience where you worry as little as possible about the range. Neo Power in Norway will provide a holistic charging experience, providing chargeable and swappable capacity in Norway, including the 7 kW home charger, 180 kW superchargers, and of course, Neo's very unique power swap station will definitely come to Norway. Neo is currently developing the European version of the swap station based on a second generation platform. Just a few days ago, the new swap station started officially operating in China. Let's see a video that shows how it works. Wow, what an amazing technology! We also have to remember that making history is always challenging, not easy. There will be mountains to climb, which we are used to here in Norway. And we have to be humble, because we know that our competitors are strong. That the new technology needs time. I know nothing happens overnight. However, by the end of 2021, our aim is to build four swap stations in and around the Oslo region to provide users in the Oslo region with an experience where you worry as little as possible about the range. With the swap stations, you can easily travel to your cabin on the weekends without charging. During 2022, our plan is to bring swap stations to Bergen, Stavanger, Trondheim and Kristiansand. But let me assure you that new power swap stations will also be placed on other locations in Norway. To bring a better charging experience, our users can easily search and pay new own charging facilities with new charging map. Besides that, we will have a cooperation with Plug Surfing to provide our users with European-wide charging capability through more than 20,000 charging points. Neo Power Norway aims to be operational around September this year. Besides power network, service level is also a big topic for a premium brands such as Neo. Our users in Norway should always expect a car service to be a positive experience. Here I would like to share our plans and ambitions for Neo service network in Norway. This is Neo Service and Delivery Center in Oslo, located in Ensha. Total floor space is 1,800 square meters. The plan is to open in September this year. This is a very comprehensive service center. Here we will provide the car experience, maintenance, repairs and delivery service. We have already built up our own professional service team that will be able to provide new users with a premium service experience. And based on this objective, we will also provide a pickup and delivery service to our users. Furthermore, we will also launch our mobile service offering in Norway, bringing our service technician to where your car is located to provide our users a hassle-free service experience. 
And of course, NEO is building a nationwide service network together with our partners. In 2021, our plan is to cover five main cities through our own NEO service center and authorized service centers. And in 2022, our network will expand to more cities across Norway. All these plans cannot happen without our local partners. Here I would like to say a big thank you to all of our partners in Norway. Thanks to you, we can co-create a joyful car owning experience for our Norwegian users. Beside power and service, we all agree that high tech, high quality, smart EV is a basic requirement for the Norwegians. Next, I would like to talk about the first models that we will offer to the Norwegian users. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the NEO ES8. As the first flagship model of NEO, the ES8 will also be the first model that we will deliver in Norway. Our design and R&D team has put a lot of effort into the European version to make it even better. Here I would like to invite our colleagues Chris, Ichao and Sapna from the NEO's global design and R&D team to introduce the details. When we started to work on the ES8, we were always striving for a high-end premium experience for our discerning users. The vision of our SUV flagship was to develop an electric SUV that is leading in its class from a design, comfort, and technological perspective. With ES8, we introduced the cabin concept idea of a mobile living space. The user should feel at home on the go. But especially on long distance travel, this car satisfies all the user needs with comfort and interior innovations. One of my favorites, the lounge seat, with massage function that comes as standard. ES8。这里是一座全新的高端智能电动汽车制造基地。增多花里达到百分之九十七点五。在这里，我们已经生产了十万多台高品质电动汽车。为了给大家带来更好的使用体验，我们对ES8的充电口和车身结构给予欧
and NeoPilot as a standard equipment. We are aiming to hand over the first ESA to our users already in September, this year. The next NEO model to enter Norway is NEO ET7. This is NEO ET7, a fully electric autonomous driving sedan. The ET7 features NEO's latest autonomous driving technology. We want to hand over the first ET7 to Norwegian users in 2022. We will release further information later this year. If we look at our schedule, our aim is to launch the NEO app in July this year and start test drives in August. We aim to own the NEO house in Oslo and deliver the first batch of ES8 to our users in September. In 2022, we will open NEO spaces in four more cities and start ET7 orders and deliveries. This is our current plan that NEO's global team is working hard to realize. Lastly, but most importantly, is that NEO believes that the best support comes from our users. That's why today I would like to announce the NEO Norway User Advisory Board project. We want to engage Norwegians who believe in NEO and invite them onto our advisory board. Their task will be to give us advice on local product, experience, service quality, power network, new house functions, and so on. The plan is to co-create a better local user community for Norwegians by Norwegians. If you are interested, please apply on neo.com or Neo Norway's Facebook and Instagram pages. These are our ambition, visions, and strategy for Blue Sky coming to Norway. I hope you are as excited as we are. We believe NEO will be a huge part of the Norwegian community going forward and allow us to shape a joyful lifestyle together with our users. Thank you at home for watching our NEO Norway launch presentation. I also want to thank you, William, for the fantastic presentation and for bringing NEO to Norway. Tusen tak. See you soon. Thanks, Marys. Thanks all. 感谢屏幕前的各位，谢谢大家。希望全球的疫情能尽早结束，我们能很快见面。Thank you very much. See you soon. Goodbye.